Hello everyone, welcome to the next section, Transfer Learning. Transfer learning is the process of copying knowledge from an already trained network to a new network to solve similar problems. Now we will move on to the first video of this section that deals with feature extraction approach. Let's first see what is feature extraction approach. In this approach, we train only the top level of the network the rest of the network remains fixed. When the new dataset is relatively small and similar to the original dataset, in such cases, the higher level features learned from the original dataset should transfer well to the new dataset. Also, we will consider a fine tuning approach. Here, when the new dataset is large and similar to the original dataset, altering the original weights should be safe because the network is unlikely to overfit the new large dataset. Let us consider a pre-trained convolutional neural network as shown in this diagram. Using this, we can study how the transfer of knowledge can be used in different situations. When should we use transfer learning? Transfer learning can be applied in the following situations, depending on the size of the new target dataset and similarity between the original and target datasets. Let's look at four main use cases. Case 1. New dataset is small and is similar to the original training dataset. Case 2. New dataset is small but is different from the original training dataset. Case 3. New dataset is large and is similar to the original training dataset. Case 4. New dataset is large and is different from the original training dataset. Now let's walk through each case in detail. First, we will look at the most common case, where target dataset is small and is similar to the original training dataset. In this case, as you can observe in this diagram, the last fully connected layer is replaced with a new fully connected layer that matches with the number of classes of the target dataset. Then, old weights are initialized with randomized weights. After that, the network are trained to update the weights of the new fully connected layer. Next case is where target dataset is small but different from the original training dataset. Here, if the target dataset is small but of a different type to the original, for example, the original dataset is dog images and the new target dataset is flower images, then we can perform few important steps. The first step is to slice most of the initial layers of the network. Then we can add to the remaining pre-trained layers a new fully connected layer that matches the number of classes of the target dataset. After that, we can randomize the weights of the new fully connected layer and freeze all the weights from the pre-trained network. Train the network to update the weights of the new fully connected layer. Since the dataset is small, Overfitting is still a concern here as well. To overcome this, we will keep the weights of the original pre-trained network the same and update only the weights of the new fully connected layer. Note that only fine-tune the higher level portion of the network. This is because the beginning layers are designed to extract more generic features. In general, the first layer of a convolutional neural network is not specific to a dataset. Another case is target dataset is large and similar to the original training dataset. Here we do not have an overfitting concern as the dataset is large, so in this case we can retrain the entire network. We can remove the last fully connected layer and replace it with a fully connected layer that matches the number of classes in the target dataset. And randomly initialize the weights of this newly added fully connected layer. Also, we can initialize the rest of the weights with pre-trained weights. Then we can train the entire network. Last case is target dataset is large and different from the original training dataset. If the target dataset is large and different from the original, we can remove the last fully connected layer and replace it with a fully connected layer that matches the number of classes in the target dataset. Also, we can train the entire network from scratch with randomly initialized weights. 